I was looking at one of these here ramen trays and I was thinking that kind of looks like a some kind of wall with a window on it so we're gonna make a piece of terrain or um, I guess in this case action figure diorama and I started on this before I decided to film so first thing I want to do is cut it flat so it sits flat and I already did that so we're gonna skip right to step two I guess um, what I looked for was where do I want to cut it flat at and I should really be using my pointer um, so originally I cut it out here and here and it didn't work so I went a little bit more and a little bit more until I ended up with this so that's our start next I want to cut out that window so I'm going to set some blocks down put it on there and let's cut this window out Looking at this, it's a little bit short for your standard three and three quarter figures. So I'm going to raise it up some, give it a base. For this, we're going to use insulation foam. So I'm going to make it sort of like that. So I cut out a base piece. fit about like that and now my thought on this is what about the inside and I think I want to cut that down to actually make an interior so I need to decide how much of that to cut down my current thought is that I'm going to put some one inch walls up here and here so what I probably want to do is come about one inch here and cut in maybe leave a little ledge around there and I'm just gonna trace my what I got for a shape This will give me an idea. All right, you can see where my knife was dull and it made this roughness, but I think that's gonna be okay. We'll sand it out a little bit, uh, which is actually the next phase I'm gonna do. 
but I am not going to do that right here because it's going to make dust and get all over the place. I'm just going to take a little bit of sandpaper, rub that a little bit. Wear a mask. Alright, so that's a little bit rough, but that's okay. It's kind of the look I'm going for. So it's going to work out, I think. Let's see where we're at. Okay. Now, I'm not liking these totally square corners. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm just going to cut them down a little bit on an angle. It's a lot of angles and roundedness in Tatooine buildings, so... Looks pretty good. I think I'm liking that. Eh, actually, I'm going to go outside and round this more. Whenever I'm working on a project, I like to keep a figure around for your scaling and your look, get your general idea. I think that's going to look good. So I think the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go right ahead and just attach this. Yeah. I'm thinking about how I'm going to do this. And I think I'm going to put a line right here to start. Big thick line. And I'm going to quickly put some dabs along here. Let's see how this works out. So now that I got that glued down on there, I'm going to want to put some walls on the back here. All right, got me some sidewalls cut. Boom, boom. Like that. Now, do I have a piece big enough to put in there? I think this piece I cut out of there will work, huh? Alright, so let's heat that glue back up, put on some walls.
So now I'm noticing something I wanted to get rid of that I forgot to do. This outer edge here, it sticks up. I wanted it to be flush and I meant to cut it off around here. So this m might be a difficult task and you should do it beforehand. But I'm gonna take this knife and I'm gonna try and carefully cut, cut that part off. That wasn't so easy, but I got it off there. There's a little bit of glue I gotta clean up. But that looks better. It's a little bit more flush. Now the other thought I'm having is about putting something across the top. I'm able to frame that in a little better. Doesn't look like I really have anything sitting around here in my scraps. So I'm gonna go dig through some scrap and see what else I got. I had a strip, this is the foam core. Uh, in poster board, foam poster board, you can get it from the dollar store. And I just cut it cut it down. What I did for this was I took and I pressed it on there so I got the imprint, flipped it over, cut it out. So now I've got a piece that'll fit there. I think that's pretty good. I'm gonna roll with that. Do a little bit of final shaping on this like I think I'm gonna curve these off a little bit um, this I might cut that down a little um, see this doesn't match up so we'll do things like take this and just cut that down Make it flush a little bit. I'm gonna go outside and I'm gonna sand all the edges down a little bit, make it smooth and rounded. All right, I think that we got this base all rounded off, smoothed, looking pretty good. Uh, let's clean up some of this mess so we can seal this up. So we're going to seal that foam up with Maj Paj. Now, if you're not familiar with sealing foam with Maj Paj, you can create a primer, just crack it open, take some out, add black paint, brown paint, whatever color you want it to be. Now what this will do is this seals and hardens up the foam so it's a little bit more durable. It's also going to give me the ability to spray paint.
Okay, this has been sitting for 24 hours. Well, not quite. We're sitting overnight. Last night before I set it up to dry, I took a little bit more of the more of the Maj Paj and dabbed a bunch into these couple crevices. And then I took some sand and just sprinkled it in there. This is to add some texture. Um, I'm about to go and spray paint a base coat on this now but before I do because while that dries I'm gonna work on the window and I had a couple ideas one which is kind of cool but I'm not gonna do it it's this here piece what this is I cut this out of the bottom get that out of a water jug I thought wow that's kind of cool that'd make a neat bar type window uh, and I do like it 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 looks pretty cool we'll pop that in there and, and it does look pretty cool but I actually want this to be see-through see because I'm probably gonna put figures inside of it and you can't really see them through that so I'm going to use just a sheet of plastic. There's a good reason to save like blister packs and stuff like that when you get them. I'm not going to use this one. It's too small. But I cut a piece. And uh, I'm going to cut that down and fit it in there. So it'll have some, some glass that we can kind of taint, dye a little bit. Or paint on a little bit so I'm gonna go paint this and then I'll come work on the window when using a spray paint on the styrofoam I sealed the styrofoam with the with the Maj Paj but there still may be little areas that it can get through and this spray paint will dissolve the styrofoam which is why I'm being very light and distant from it so it settles on there doesn't soak it in any way because that might seep into cracks and start dissolving the styrofoam so now the reason I saved this piece I cut out is that's going to be my template for the window and I'm just going to use the corner, two corners that are already on here. I'm going to set this about half an inch from the side, the two sides. And then I will cut it another half inch out from there. Oh, it's going to be about there. fit. So now I'm just going to clip the corners down a little bit. And next I'll make a frame. This foam core board, as they call it, is great building stuff. Uh, I just, I didn't have a scrap piece, so I had to cut a fresh board. And, uh, it's, oh, there it is. So I'm going to line this up a little bit bigger than, than my window. And... Cut that out. Okay. 
And I should probably be using a little square. Um, this actually is a square, but I don't have the other part on it. So let's just try it like this. Check that again. Yep. Now this stuff from the Dollar Tree is really good because the paper comes off pretty easy. A lot of them the paper sticks really bad and you can't get it all off. But this tends to peel off. Look at that. Nice one piece. And it seems to be the black. The black is the one that actually peels off good. I've had the white not not go so well. So now that we got that cut, we need to find our window stencil. And it looks like, looking at this, it goes this way. But this is pretty square, so it shouldn't matter. We're going to place that right in, right in the middle. And then we're going to take a pen and mark it out. All right, well, I don't have a pen right here readily available, so I'm just going to use a pick. You guys see that? Okay. Then I'm going to take my finer blade and carefully cut that out. I probably should have changed this blade. It's a little dull. I can feel it ripping instead of cutting. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to add a little control panel over here. Maybe like it's a power window. It's an energy field rather than glass or something. I don't know. So I'm just going to cut another little piece of foam. Good size. Yeah, it's a little thick, but so then to make buttons, what I'm going to use is a leather tool. Um, this is just a little leather dot, and here I'll show you what it does. This is for tooling leather. You take and you hit it. Oops, <laughs> foam's a lot like uh, a lot softer than leather. So you'd hit it with a hammer and it just makes a little dot. This is this tool is great for buttons. Um, you could use a, like a straw from a juice box or something. Um, I don't know, be creative. Find, find something that'll give a cool texture. But I'm just gonna push a little and twist it on there. And we'll give it two buttons. There we go, a couple buttons. And I'm going to use my tight my file here, and I'm going to curve it down like it's a 
panel. So bevel the edges a little bit. They look a little worn and used. All right, there we go. Put a little PVA glue here. So we'll place a panel. I put it a little bit lower. I think that's going to look good. So I'm going to set that aside to dry for a minute. And I'm going to run out and check on my paint. So now the next thing I want to deal with is fill line. It's on four sides of it. And... Um, I'm going to do a few things to hide that. One, for the top, the outside, I cut a piece of foam. I'm just going to glue over it. I'm just going to cover, go ahead and cover it up there. And then, let's see, is this big enough? That's big enough. So, then for the inside, what I think I'm going to do is I'm just going to cut a couple of panels and glue them over the inside, over the writing on the inside. Because on the outside, it's, the writing is, I don't know if light to see, yeah, okay. The writing's backwards and sideways. So we'll get to that later. I'm just going to cut two panels. Two panels that we will glue on the interior. Alright, so what I decided I'm going to do with, with these covers, I want to make them, I'm going to put some holes in them, make them like they're some kind of air conditioning vents or something. So, I'm going to put them together, and I'm going to take a ballpoint pen. I found one, by the way. I found a ballpoint. And I'm going to put some lines on these to start with. We're going to go with one. Skip a little bit. lines. Now I'm going to use I'm going to use a leather hole punch here to put the holes in. I know you don't have a leather hole punch. Again you can take yourself like a juice box straw maybe wrap a little bit of tape around for a handle and you can do the same thing. Just gently back and forth working it through. You don't want to push real hard to, you know, you don't want to crush it in there. You want to let that edge cut. Does that bug y'all that I'm working over to the side? It's because I don't want to be reaching around the camera. So I'm kind of 
working from over here. This way I can actually get my face close enough to my project. There we go. That's kind of cool looking. Now I will do the nail file trick to round out the edges. By the way, I was out there, I put another coat of spray paint on. That's why it's on my hand. It's drying kind of weird. I shouldn't have it laying in the sun like I do. Not during this heat wave anyway. All right, so we got those. Now we got the piece for the top. Right there, which I think I might try something else with. All right, so what I'm gonna do now, is I'm gonna take my pick. I'm gonna use the pen, because I know y'all have pens. And I'm just going to go to all my corners here and put a dot. And this is to look like, like a rivet or a bolt is there. You kind of screw to hold the whole thing together. And then one right in the middle. All right, my base coat paint is dried. So I could do some highlighting and stuff on it, but I'm gonna actually try something different on this. I'm gonna do a wash first, and then I'm gonna do some dry brushing after. So for a wash, rather than black, I'm gonna use a brown. I've got some nutmeg brown here. Now if this wasn't on a desert planet, uh, the black would actually be kind of cool and let it drip because it would make like, you know, that's where the rain runs down. But there's no rain on Tatooine, at least not that we've ever seen. Anyone know if that's canon? Do they ever have any kind of like once in a century storms or anything? Oh, here we got a good effect. The spray paint actually cracked a little bit. That's nice. I actually put cracks. I got carved cracks on the other building I did. I didn't even think to do that, but this is obviously, this is a nicer, newer building. So while this dries, I'm going to take these here. These are 
miscast X-Wing guns. Um, they all came out short or they didn't pour right. So I'm going to take these and use them to make some cool little pieces. I think right up on the side here like this. Just some little, I don't know, machinery of some sort. Some kind of electronics. So I want to cut them all to be the same, or I'm just going to use two of them. So let's, uh, we can make them all short. I think I want them a little bigger. So we're going to go with, let's go with that one right there. What I'm going to do is cut it down. That one's got a bit more on it, so I'll save that one for something else. So I think this one will be a good match. And basically I'm just cutting it right there. Those match pretty good. So uh, they're going to go on the sides right here like this. Alright. I'll probably come back and do a second layer of coat on that one. So we'll let this sit for a little bit. I got quite a mess going here. It's time to finish this up. I can clean this mess up. I'll show you what I did here with the... See, my lighting's even getting bad. It's getting late. Sun's about to go down. So I highlighted the lettering and put a little, couple extra little dots in there. And no longer looks like English. The NE were kind of hard to cover, but 
I think that worked out pretty well. So let's uh, get this thing put together. Let's start with the interior. By the way, I learned a lesson on this blue stuff here, this Funtac. When it's like 90 degrees in your house, it doesn't come off very well. It's really gummy and soft. Hell, surprised I even need to use a glue, glue gun. Glue just melt on its own. I have a feeling I should probably not be using hot glue for this, but whatever. There we go. If you liked this video, hit the button. Your comments are welcome. And subscribe if you want to see more.